so uh, all of last week I was sat on a laundry basket um, by Friday I was in agony like I was in some sort of stress position um, so I've got my chair from work in the hope that I'm going to be a bit more comfortable for the foreseeable future however long that is till this all blows over <laughs> bliss so we're just trying to get shell screens up to a comfortable height for us so we're using granddad's old water cooler box and for this screen we're going to use heavenly bodies called treasures and spectacular saints from catacombs and jeff coons conversations with norman rosenthal improvise Hey crew, hope you are all safe and uh, keeping well out of the way of this horrendous virus that's going around. Wow, so things are changing really quick. Um, I've been now sent home for four weeks, not working. Uh, luckily I'm getting paid. Um, so God knows how those people that are were living week to week on a single wage are doing. I just hope everybody's all right and safe. Um, so yeah, strange times we are in. Shelley's working from home, as some of you may have seen on Instagram recently. So she's going to talk today about a few things that she's doing to a keep her body okay and try and keep her mind okay. Because obviously, it's a bit of an upheaval, as it is for everybody. So yeah. I'll hand you over to Shell, who's going to take you through some working at home stroke boat tips. So whilst working at home, and especially if you're working at home on a tiny narrow boat, it's very important that you stretch regularly. Um, so I am trying to move about every hour at the minute because uh, last week I was rubbish and by the end of the week I was crippled so um, I have some desk yoga stretches to do <laughs> seated twist what's that doing? stretches your spine bottom back So you're just making these up or are they uh, no. from something? My boss sent them me. What's this one for? This stretches all of your hammy really and hip flexor. So as you can see I'm beautifully set up at my uh, dining room table on my boat ready to work home for the foreseeable future. Um, I have now been and got my desk chair from work so it's very important that you're comfortable um, whilst you're working at home especially if you're in a little space like me. Um, yeah, So we've uh, raised the monitors using books. Um, so I'm I'm about right now, so my legs are at right angles and my screens are at the right level. Um, so yeah, make sure you're comfortable. Um, take regular breaks. So last week I wasn't taking enough breaks and by the end of the week I was getting a bit stir crazy. So I've been getting up every hour um, doing some stretches um, and I've been making sure I've been going out for walks, which is, you know, quite easy when you've got dogs anyway so 
and making sure that I exercise regularly. So uh, yeah, at least half an hour's exercise. Don't know how long that'll last, to be honest, until we go into lockdown, um, but I'm making the most of it um, and staying uh, two meters away from people if I pass them on the canal path. We've been making sure that Chris and I, um, because Chris is now at home as well, so we're both rattling around in a small space together, uh, making sure that we've both got an hour's hour time. Um, so send him off on his bike for an hour. Um, I've been going out for a run just so that we've got a bit of our own space and making sure that we've got some us time. So a concentrated uh, period of time where we just sit together and chat. So when I've been getting calls uh, from work, I've been taking those outside and walking up and down the pontoon and around the marina. Um, so making sure I get some more stretches in. Um, we've also now banned snacks um, because it was quite easy last week to just nibble away through the day. Um, I'm much closer to a fridge now as well, so I do not want to put on loads of weight during this time. So no more goodies until the weekend. Um, was the the one mo more von? Bleh. I do that. Another key thing um, that we discussed um, before we went home from work as a group um, was people's mental health. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be a, a big thing for most people during this period. Um, so we've made sure that we have got social media groups, groups set up with um, WhatsApp and Teams where we've got a group Teams chat and we've been having a regular um, daily call at 11 o'clock every day as a team um, just as general chit chat not really a, a office talk chat but you know just to keep everyone's morale up another thing is making sure that you're ready for work so quite importantly is still prepare yourself as though you're going to work so wash your face clean your teeth get changed not necessarily getting all your smarts but just get out your pjs basically so that you're set for the day and another key thing i think is make sure you've got a routine know what you're doing for the day know when your breaks are going to be and plan your day ahead so that it's not all wishy-washy obviously don't be so um, stringent that, you know, if something does interrupt your day, that you're going to get stressed out. You've just got to go with the flow and get on with it, basically. So what I've been doing um, in the mornings, I've been starting earlier to give myself a buffer in, within the day so that I can make sure that I have those breaks or get out for a run. Um, so, yeah, I've been starting 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. So I'm giving myself that hour in between or half an hour in between. Get lots of breaks um, because I've still got to cover until five, basically. So, yeah, that's been helping take the stress out of it. So we are still fasting, um, which has become a lot more important since we're on the boat. So, yeah, we're still doing 16-8 um, and breaking fast about half past two um, in the afternoon. Um, and then yeah last meal or hot chocolate at half past ten that's helping I think um, so obviously because we're in a small space um, these monitors etc um, take up quite a lot of space so during the week when this um, workstation is set up I've been covering it up at night once I've finished so that I do actually shut off from work and that you know it's not sort of impacting on my evening and I'm not thinking about work. Also on a Friday night I have been packing everything away and putting it in a in storage trunk so it's not um, in the boat in the weekend so I do actually physically break from work I mean, and it's not impacting on my spare time. Chris has packed it away. So, 
that's what I've been doing to try and keep myself sane. I'm only second week in, so I think there's a long time to go yet. Um, if you've got any handy hints on what you've been doing um, to help if you're working from home, please put in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated because I want to come out of this feeling uh, wonderful and sane. So yeah, thank you for listening. Um, yeah, and we'll see you again soon next week. Another key thing, um, and when we first discussed this as a group at work, before we were sent home to work from home, um, was the the vul mo more vul bleh.